Hello guys, good afternoon and welcome to Bin's Vlog and videos for today is all about simulating our cyclic gen to gen module okay so this is uh, Socomic uh, YTS 55 so this is new for me and it's not familiar but we studied already uh, how to do the program for this and try to simulate the program so let's do that and let's go to our area for the testing so here we are so this is our sources number one for our incomers and here is our sources number two for our incomers generator number two and this the last one is our load site so here is the full set i'll choose our it by is c55 so here is our control for our simulations so this is our sources number one and it is connected and secondly this is our sources number two so this is our start signal but it is uh, should be two but for now this is uh, yet unprepared so let's go for our program so i will show you what is the rest of the selections you have in this uh, output number one so as you can see there is a lot of selections you can select depends on your uh, program so it should be here as an output number one you can sit here as uh, post one order that is the correct configurations so just follow that uh, configuration so you can do also to your uh, own configurations or your own programming and then as you can see I am scrolling up so you can see so that's it so let's go to the output number two and now I am going to put it as the post order I mean post to order so that is the correct configurations as you can see and then after that to our output number three it should be a position zero order and then the rest of that just put it none because we're not using and should be the five and uh, f six it should be the start signal one and two I forgot it to put it there so I'll just uh, show you and the rest of that should be a uh, normally open so let's go for our the rest of the configurations so you can see what are the rest of it So I'm just scrolling for now so you can see what are those uh, we can do about this module for this is uh, the maintenance should be a thousand password so as you can see there's a lot of uh, parameters you can do so in the other part I will show you the rest of it So now let's go for the cyclic so it should be the status is enable and then the transfer method it should be automatic and we have the one hour for s1 and s2 for one hour we cannot configure the rest of that that is the last of configurations and the transfer time should be zero one but you can adjust that one depends on your configuration as well and then after that if you're done just save the configurations and then exit so here we are so the prior selection should be um, alternate and then save it so you are done for your cyclic configurations and here is the rest of it so you can see 
we do exit so that is our final program so by the way this is our end charge for our uh, switch gear so this is uh, Mr. Ju Koska is now preparing for our remote connections and while uh, waiting for the configurations so here is also his partner for the preparation for that this is uh, Mr. Mark so here it is So now we are done for the connections, so we are now preparing for the supply for our uh, control module, so we can do the simulation as well. So now he is uh, plugging the supply, and then after that we are going to check if there is some source already, so we are checking every set if it is uh, have the supply all so let's forget to turn on the switch so for now we have already power supply so we are waiting to do uh, I mean to give the power supply for the genset 1 and for our genset 2 so as for now as you can see the remote signal is still not yet uh, active but during the simulations it should be active for both of the generator and then it will uh, cool down for the rest it depends on the command of your module so here we are we're going to put the power supply for our genset 1 and genset 2 so as you can see our module now is power up because it is uh, taking the power supply for your sources so now it's uh, having the timer for uh, transfer to our source is number one because that is our so now it's, uh, to start the generator and now it's running and it is transferred to our sources number one so now I will show you the active uh, sources so you can see that it is working okay so both of our generators still have supply and waiting for the cool down so as you can see switch in positions is active because our switch is in the one positions and our start gen set is also one active so the two is not active that is see as you can see that is off in positions so now we're going to transfer to the power generator number two so as you can see urgency to start is active and it should be position number two is active also i will show you see switch ends position is number two is active as you can see so meaning it is working correctly so now we're going to do the exit so i will show you which is the sources for now so we're in the two load and source so as the voltage you can see that there is and we have the site clear durations is one hour one hour for both of our generator so we have to wait for one hour in order to transfer to the other generator so that's it for our uh, simulations